if you guys are having a third or you have more than three, let us know what it's like for you guys. I know everybody's different, but I feel like this has to be like a common thing. Like if you have two kids, the decision to have more, I feel like there's probably so many people out there that, well, we know that there's other people, right? You have other friends right now that are having a third, right? Word. Wait, I do? Don't you? Didn't you say other people on Facebook contacted you? Oh yeah, they that have had, not necessarily a third, but have been pregnant, you know, three or four or two, and they're so, experiencing a lot of the same things that I'm experiencing with the sickness, which is nice. I mean, not nice, I don't want them to be sick, but to know it's not just me because it's not fun. Babe, how do you feel today? Tired. Huh? Tired. Tired? And I remember you like being kind of like sick like this, but then again, I was at work, I wasn't at home. And I noticed that when I'm busier, like if I have a lot going on in the day, I don't have time to like focus on the sickness as much. So, I mean, I still don't feel well and I, but I push myself and the days that I don't, listen, the days that I have nothing to do is that are the days that I'm even worse because I literally just lay around and sulk in my misery. <laughs> just kidding, but seriously. I'm so, going to get Nora. Oh yeah, it's that time. <laughs> so, Kevin can't, Kevin, it's hard for Kevin because I am a very, like, I don't ever stop during the days. Like, I go, go, go. I clean the house. I'm, I'm constantly doing laundry and, you know, keeping up on everything. All the little things I'm, like, picking up and doing and doing and doing. Well, I'm not doing that. I can't change the trash because it makes me sick. I can't throw the trash in the bins outside because it makes me sick. Making macaroni and, ch and cheese and chicken nuggets that the kids eat every day, the smell of it makes me want to puke. It's so hard for me to do. Cleaning up dishes, cleaning up the house. Keeping up with laundry, like I have no motivation. Everything makes me nauseated and I don't do it. I can't do it. I can't push myself. So like, it's like a shock to Kevin's system because, because like, I'm like, can you, can you go, you know, can you change this trash? I can't do it. Like he'll do it. He always changes trash. But like I'm saying, like normally I would just do it, but I'm like constantly, can you do this? I can't do it. Like it makes me sick, you know, or I'm sleeping and you know, the kids need this, this, and this, and he's trying to work, but it's, it's hard. It's just hard. And I look so beautiful. I am just been looking really good. I I don't like seeing I don't like seeing her like this. Like I don't like seeing her down and like like literally half dead, just like laying there, not able to do anything. And always like out of energy or she but just I'm this hoping, morning. Like I'm hoping that this, the, after I get to, I'm hoping 12 weeks, after the first trimester, I'm hoping I'm back to normal. I really am. It's usually just the first bit is just hard. Mom. Yeah, I know. I know this will pass, Mom. but Mom. just. Mom, huh? Mom has baby whole time. <laughs> Thanks. We know that. <laughs> well, I, I know it'll pass. I know that. It's just, it's just a hard time. And I, this morning she was going up the steps and she's already like, oh, I can't breathe every time around like six seven eight as it goes on months her lips would turn blue <laughs> so i'm waiting for the blue lips to come back she can barely like climb steps i remember going to the er with Seriously. nora My because she couldn't blue. breathe there was nothing but wrong. my oxygen levels were they said perfect they yeah they said they were perfect but i just can't breathe i don't know no all right Payson, where's so, Nora's drink? so yeah it's just so yes. much fun to look this, forward to. But this will pass. <laughs> Things will get better. Yeah, I know, and it will. And Mom, like I, I said. Mom. Yes, Casey. I will have um. Do you like the house with one of my drink? You have, ga you have what, Gatorade. You have Gatorade. Yeah. He has oh. Gatorade in his drink. Oh. In yeah. your excavator drink. The only oh, cup yeah. we drink out of. What do you call it? Excavator. Mm -hmm. He calls it Gator time. <laughs> Oh, another really big thing. You guys know that we're building a new house. Well, we built the house with three bedrooms. Who what? said to build it with four? Who said four? Okay. Mommy said to get four bedrooms. Nobody listens to mommy. Nobody listens to me. 
She said build with four because she wanted another one. I was completely set. I was really close to scheduling for a vasectomy. I never did. I'm gonna blame this on COVID because I never scheduled for the vasectomy. And Amanda got more and more like into wanting a third. Like she was like all about it. Like no matter what I said, she just wanted it. Two would have been fine, but I just felt like I just, something was- She felt like, like something was missing. She felt like she here. needed more. Like there was just- He said, do you want There was just me? more. So, it, that, and that's fine. I know it'll be fine. I know everything will work out. So we do have a really big loft and that can be converted into a fourth. So the option on the house was either we have the loft or we build a fourth room. So I'm not too concerned. We have, you know, the whole, not the whole year, but you know, we have um, a lot of the first half of the year when we move in to put up the walls and, and convert it to a new room if we wanted to. Uh, there's other options we were discussing, like, you know, maybe the kids. And I've said this for a while, especially with the kids not sleeping. I think it would be good for them to share a room while they're smaller. Of course, when they get bigger, they're not going to want to share a room. That makes complete sense. But right now, they're still little. They always play together. They're always in the same room. They're always doing things together. So why not have a bunk bed? Maybe they'll even sleep better. If you guys have any experience with this, comment, leave us comments, tell us what you think, if you agree, disagree, or if uh, you know you have some other uh, views that maybe we're not thinking about or something that'll help us. And if you're going through the same thing, then uh, best of luck to you as well. And yeah, I'm sure we'll all get through this. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be Quite a journey. It's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> Whoa, be... cool. Look at those glasses. <laughs> those are so cool, dude. I know, he's rocking them. And he's Sweet got his man. red his red Nikes on. Whoa. All right. Check that out. You guys, check. What? I don't even know if I can see. Look. Probably not. I'm set up on the tripod here. Look. Whoa. Okay, Zangolias, peace out. Okay. Dude, that is so cool. I'm gonna get Nora. All right, see you guys. Bye.